They'll be calling you a radical, so much to talk about. Scientists are baffled. Scientists are muzzled. Scientists are puzzled. Stars, scientists are stumped. And it's so outrageous. Now they're saying, oh, this is how pathetic academia has evolved into. This is how fucked up. And this is how fucked up American culture is, the world culture for that matter. Never in the history of fucking mankind. Never, never, never. I always go back to the antebellum South, pseudo de facto, not my alma mater, my alma mater's Mother Earth. I always go back there. It was contemporized, you know, I always go back to Harriet Beecher Stowe. I have a beautiful friend who was studying, you know, to go into the ministry. I heard, grew up in the same town as Harriet Beecher Stowe. Her name's Megan. Serving coffee at Starbucks, you know, I mean, it's amazing. And she grew up in that town, and we talk a lot about what it, the culture was then and how similar it is now. It's been contemporary. Slavery is, it's exactly the same as it was then in that aspect. Oh, we're doing these slaves a favor. You got your shrimp. You can't even fucking peel your own shrimp. Out of sight, out of mind. Tim Cook, now his new protege. The richest company in the history of fucking mankind. I mean, this is the textile wars on Balco. I mean, it's so out. It's never been so contemporized and been so gone. I was called, I think Nikki called me yesterday. She's supposed to, Kevin Blanche is a heretic. You know, and I remember here about two years ago, Patrick McCormick says, right to my face, we're sitting having a beer in the old Del Monte, you know, in California, at, you know, when we sell the sperm whales, or excuse me, the pot of humpbacks at Point Reyes, and he says, you know, he says, the first time I ever fucking heard you and listened to you, he says, you're like a fucking heretic environmental savant. I says, what a fucking compliment, you know, Michelangelo, holy Moses, the all-time heretic. So, never has a, this man, I mean, think about the fucking insanity that exists in this country. How we've accepted fucking hardcore slavery. How we've accepted the genocide of the Pacific Ocean. You know, and I understand as far as an activist, I'm going to show you some things. That get, I, I get so many fucking great people, I mean, the power of the genre. I mean, I got a call the other day, and he says, hey, I was watching some of your videos when you were at Diablo Canyon, and you're walking up the one right other. I'm there right now hiking. And I says, where? And he says, I'm right at Diablo. And I says, well, you know, it's, the Spaniards named it Diablo. It was called the Mother's Heart before she, and we started talking to Shumash. And he was on a phone. He says, I'm right up in, because at Diablo, where it's smooths down where they used to launch their canoes, maybe one of the beautiful places in the world, where all the, I mean, anybody who lives in that region knows. You can catch photographs. I mean, they're iconic for their colored starfish on the pier. They're iconic for their seabirds. They're iconic for the whales coming in there. Everything pools right there. All the fish come in there. All the animals come here. You know, and the natives would launch their canoes there gently. So the road goes right there, and then Diablo cuts off. Boom. They, Diablo, the reactor's hiding up in that canyon. I've been in that canyon many times because I know the old farmer. You know, he's still around. He still has access. I've been in his pickup. I've been up in there. It's so fucking spectacular, nobody gets to see it. Because the road, you know, I walked the whole one. You can't walk that part of it. Boom, stop. Uh-uh. You know, I remember walking. I was right there below there at Shell Beach. And some fucker says, oh, you can't walk through. I said, bullshit. This is my yard, he says. I said, no, it's not. You don't own to the fucking edge. And I fucking, again, had the laws. In my, I, I, I was ready. Dana might help me prep and get ready for the fucking laws where I go, landscape. These people fucking buy these houses or whatever, build these houses and, they don't own fucking to the edge. They'll think that. I says, fuck you. And he says, no, you all fucking shoot you, he told me. I says, shoot away, motherfucker. I'm walking right along this fucking edge. Go ahead. I mean, that's the fucking insanity, these fucking assholes. I mean, so he's like, I'm up in there. And so he sent me these photographs today. I hope you can see them. Those were just snapped just a couple days ago. I mean, that's what the whole Central Coast looks like. And that spot is one of the grandest. I mean, look at that. I mean, wow. You know, it's not, this is not some fucking bullshit fucking photos like these fuckers put at the Mercury News or whatever. This, they're fucking... I mean, it's so fucking grand there. And look, it's always going to happen in the fucking future. We're always worried about getting to heaven. Yeah, you know, we're always worried about, like, you know, everybody, everything, the future, the future, the future, future. Oh, it's going to happen, could happen, the Pacific Ocean could die, could die. I've never said the Pacific Ocean was going to fucking all the way. I've never said it once because I don't believe it. I've never believed it. 
I've always believed she's going to fight back. I've always said this. You've heard me many times. I wore my orange headband, dyed my hair blue in honor of the Pacific Ocean. I defend her. She demands me. My blue rock, all of it. She, look, it's simple. Humans are no match. But what about all the people that Fukushima's already killed? What about all the sea lions? So the Mercury News comes out. And these guys come out. This just happened today. They have some fucking asshole who's not a scientist. These academia fuckers. So, and Ken Buser says it perfectly. They're not, none of them have done any work post-Fukushima. None of them have been on the water. None of them have done any fucking study. They're just academia. They go to this group and this meeting that they create. They create their own fucking group. Then they show up with their fucking peers. They create this fucking little goofy club. And nobody pays attention to them anyway. They don't give a fuck about their bullshit. They're like, yeah, fuck you. Everybody knows. Now I'll talk like this. Oh, and they give themselves each awards and fucking awards and their own fucking little fucking re... I mean, it's... You know, and so they say... They come out and they says, Well, the blob's over. Well, the blob did cause a lot of harm or hurt. Here's the words. The blob hurt the sea lions. No, it didn't hurt the fucking sea lions. It fucking killed the fucking sea lions. The fucking sea lions fucking died. They fucking starved to death by the fucking hundreds of thousands. The birds started at by the millions. The fucking billions of sardines. The fucking thousands of fucking well starved to fucking death. They didn't get hurt. They're fucking dead. They're fucking dead. How many of my friends just like that fighting fucking Luki post Fukushima? Everybody got hammered right here. They're fucking dead. They're fucking dead. How many people is it fucking killed? You know, all gonna have what? El Nino going to save us? Everybody said you seen the fucking debt lake. We can't have that conversation. Slaves, oh, we're having slaves fucking. Spill, bought and sold human beings, spill our fucking shrimp for us. You know, it's like I told this guy, he says, oh, you need to, I, no, I need to come fuck your wife and mow your lawn for you. It's pathetic. It's fucking pathetic what we are. And everybody's contemporized with it. Oh, bacon consume, oh, bacon consume, oh, bacon consume. Mystery disease. Scientists are baffled. Scientists are fucking puzzled. Scientists are stumped. Scientists are fucking chumps. I mean, it's insanity. I, I, really, and I know as activists come in here, and there's been a lot of new activists born, and then after, you know, a year or two or three of this, they're like, fuck, I can't do this anymore. I try warning people. I've been warning people since I was a kid. You can talk to my children. You know, my children ain't so young. You know, my oldest is almost 35 years old. You know, I was young. They say, oh, this ain't nothing new. You know, talk to the women that I've been involved with. They're like, oh, no, this ain't nothing new with this dude. You know, they're like, fuck, you can't just keep going, Kevin. Why can't the fuck can they? My life ain't that long. I can keep fucking going. I don't think in context of a lifetime. You know, my grandparents from Denmark and Switzerland were the very first fucking white people here. Very first people. And they were good record keepers. And so they have journals. It's my favorite thing to do. I read their fucking journals. I live right on the shed's landscape. They talk about the northern Ute chief that was right here with them. They talk about, you know, the, the natives swimming across. They call them Indians. You know, my grandma says I'd hide behind the grease woods right here, the cows, and talked about them being friends and, you know, how it all evolved. That wasn't that long ago. I mean, the first white person wasn't even here until 1857 on this area where I'm at. It was still fucking like that. When I was a kid, it was still fucking wild and fucking untouched. Most of the landscape was unfarmed. Fucking marsh. So I got to see it. I got to see it before. It's gone now. You know, I... I mean, I gotta see it. I just in my lifetime right here, I've watched the muskrats go extinct. I've watched the jackrabbits go extinct. I've watched the fireflies go extinct. You know, we did get some tundras through here a few years ago, but I mean, I go on all the screeching frogs, the fucking to just in my lifetime, just in my short little teeny lifetime. So I understand people say I can't do it. It's a hopeless, thankless fucking cause. But isn't humanity a hopeless, thankless fucking cause? Kevin surviving AML de nuevo leukemia, that's a hopeless thing, this fucking cause. Go home and die. We'll send hospice with you. Don't fight back. Fuck cancer and fuck the motherfuckers that gave it to me. So, you know, I'll fight the whole way. You know, this is just a lifestyle to me. I mean, this isn't nothing new. People get in there and say, I burned out, the journey's over, I've done my fucking work. Well, more power to you. I I'm happy that you did the fucking work. You know, you know, it's not many people, you know, it's like, I remember when I was a kid, and our seventh grade science teacher was like, Kevin, we're going to experiment. She was talking about lactose and just science and, you know, gravity and whatever. Everybody put their arms out like this and see how long you can hold them. 
Now, of course, I'm still the last one. You know, right before I got cancer, my two nephews rattle off 100 times. Nothing new to me. It's my lifestyle. From the day I was fucking born to the day I fucking died. That's all. You know, that's all my short little fucking lifetime. I think about the great activists. I mean, I, I think about Harry Beecher Stowe so much. You know, I think about Melville writing fucking Moby Dick. They fucking hated him. You know, me and Ackerman were right over to where he used to stand. You know, you ever been lower, really lower Manhattan at night? Be, well, before it all got built up, but even still now. You know, people says, yeah, okay, we're going to go back down. You don't want to go down there at night. It's creepy as fuck down there. I mean, really creepy down there at night. It's got this fucking really bizarre fucking aura to it. That reminds me, uh, we're, there's some people talking with me who want to do an event against Indian Point next month in January. They want me to come back to New York, so maybe I will. I mean, that sounds like a fucking plan. You know, so we'll see. We'll see as things evolve, whatever, but these people that are putting out these fucking stupid bullshit fucking reports, these so-called academias that are universities, they missed the boat. Academia is over. Academia is If you're in a university getting a degree, more power to you. But you're not going to learn shit. You know, you, you'll learn some... I mean, it's old, it's tired, it's fucking backwards. They created a fucking club. It's not what old PhDs used to be. It's not, you know, I used to carve up that checkboard. I used to throw fucking chalk in there. Fucking, them days are fucking over. They captured academia. You know, and you think, how can 7 billion people be fucking hypnotized into this popism fucking popularized fucking masquerade party, Johnny got his gun, slavery. Look, it's a simple, simple, simple concept from the time, of, very simple. Either you believe in fucking enlightenment or you believe in enslavement. And there's plenty of people, like Anne Ranty, don't you love how they go to her, the science fiction writer from fucking Stalingrad, Leningrad, the fucking Russian atheist who fucking never claimed to be a fucking, never claimed. It's just the power, it's always said literature changes around the edges. I've always fucking argued with that. At the core, this is literature. You know, life is literature. It's fucking an unfolding book, one page at a fucking time. For future generations, the virtual library here, this is the most powerful fucking library in human history right here. This is what this is. YouTube's a virtual library, and you think, oh, fuck. Think about it. You walk into your fucking local library, and 99.999% of the books that are in there haven't been open 40, 50 years, and rightfully so, because they're fucking, it's trash. You know, gold, God. I mean, you think about how everybody that's recorded themselves in history. All the fucking shoes and all that, bananas, fucking potato chips, fucking sal, all that fucking bullshit, all the other fuckers in there. You know, gold's going to the moon, silver's going to the fucking moon, the fiat currency shit, you know, all this fucking shit, meteors fucking end of the earth, earth's coming to the end, biblical, it's right the fucking. I mean, think about how fucking people in the future are going to view, look at that. People out the people that covered Fukushima, on, and they're recording in history, and they think, oh, I'll just take it down. Oh, no, somebody's got it. Think about that. That's what this is. You know, think about the classic great fucking ones that got it right. So you're the little lady that started the fucking Civil War. Oh, he meant it. Andy, why are you making these films? A lot easier than painting. I think that's the only thing he ever fucking meant. You know, Deschamps bastard fucking son. Wow. So, the Pacific genocide has already happened. It's not going to happen. It already, already happened. Look, from 3-11-11, I have pasta screamed and went crazy every fucking day. And, you know, it's going to happen, it's going to, it's all done. Is it going to get worse? Yeah. But it's already happened. The Pacific Ocean right in front of your fucking face, and I told it right in front of your face. No, it'll take you years to sit and look back and say, oh my God, the Pacific Ocean was genocided in 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014. It'll be written on the fucking concert hall studio walls that the Pacific Ocean, the Great Pacific Genocide happened in that time. Right in front of your fucking face. Do you think those people when they were enslaving people in the antebellum slave south? Antebellum pre-war? Do you think, antebellum is the Latin word for before, you know. So, do you think that they realized what they were doing? Harry Beach still says it perfectly. Daddy, what are you talking about? And she had all the money. She broke ranks. She says, you ain't no Christian. What are you talking about? You know, and she didn't talk in the literal sense. She talked in the broad sense because that girl got it. That woman got it. Oh, did she get it? And change the world? Ooh, what a burden. What a fucking heavy fucking price that was. Wow. America was over, remember? Remember it was over. Done. Lincoln was shot in his fucking head. By who? A fucking actor? Most famous man. I mean, popism fucking completely out of control. So here we live in a fucking place and time 
where nobody in the United States will talk about the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history. The emperor has no fucking clothes. They won't talk about the slave, everything, all your goods are made as, I mean, wasn't that long ago when, remember when uh, Captain Lee Gifford got caught fucking using sweatshops and this country went psycho? That wasn't even very long ago. I mean, now no one gets, and the evangelicals and the more, how insane have they evolved into? I mean, want to kill people? I mean, these fucking people fucking evolved so anti-Christ-like, so anti-anything-like, I mean, so fucking evil, a pe because... Oh, self-proposed prophecy. We're going to take the fucking earth with us. Fucking burn it down. Well, I got news for you. You ain't burning this globe down. George Carlin said it the best. You fucking arrogant humans. Mother Earth will flick you off like a fucking flea. It's generational arrogance. That's all. I'm going to keep going. I'll go every day till I die. <laughs> you know, like I had cancer when I was in there. I'm like, fuck, I got work to do. You know, fuck. Fuck cancer. Flick the fucking cancer off me. Out of me. Fucking light, you fucking heretic. Michelangelo. Wow, you know he lived in fear about 40, 50 years left. Nobody knew he was the guy writing that fucking heresy letter. You know, if they would have fucking cut his head off. And by the way, think about it. Think about it. The greatest, I think he's the greatest artist who ever lived. His sculptures. I think they're the greatest work ever. I used to have this girl when I was young. You know, me and her had this thing. She was something. She was one of these girls, everybody, you know, and she's like, what are you doing? You know, Kevin Blanche, right? And she's, oh, it's those arms. She says, he's got arms like a Michelangelo sculpture because of that Hawk and Tron. And then she'd say, that's all, that's all, that's all. I used to fucking love that. But, you know, she traded her flowers in her hair for a fucking mortgage and a shiny car. Not me. I don't give a fuck about money. I really don't. I mean, I need enough to do what I do. And, you know, I've had, what a small, beautiful group we've developed here. That's all we need. The work's being done. Incredible, incredible historical fucking work. You know, I used to think, like the art, I've always said, as an artist, I've always said, I don't worry about the fucking art. I worry about the critic that can find the fucking art. I worry about the museum fucking that can fucking have the guts to fucking balls to show the fucking art. That's what I've always worried about. I worry about the media. Well, YouTube come along, fuck, I'm like, oh my God, we got a fucking platform. Wow, we don't need them anymore. You know, and I've always worried that now says Snowden said at the fucking best up in Park City, and I told them in Park City, I said, let me record it and put this up. Oh, we'll show it on public tent. Bet you don't. They're naive. They're going to step in on you and block it. You don't realize the power. They're naive. He said it. I never worried about me doing this. I, it was just the right thing to do. Period. That's all. He says, I worried that no media would ever show it and I would get no publicity, like so many activists have. That's what happened to Aaron Swartz. He thought the media would fucking get his back. They didn't. Megan Rice, he thought the media and the American public would get his back. They didn't. So many of these great actors, they didn't. Tim Christopher, they didn't. You know, I know so many of these people. You know, and so I've worried about it. I worried about it the whole fucking time. You know, me ranting and raving and fucking carrying on doing the, exactly the way I was supposed to do it. You know, and, but I've overcome that because I see the group that we've developed. Oh, it's recorded in history. We have fucking changed the world already. Not going to, we already did. We're going to continue to fucking do it. I call it my post-ignorance fucking army. And I'm telling you, they're in every fucking state, in every county, in every fucking country, and I can start naming them off. We already changed the fucking world. You don't even know it. You know, the fucking... We fucking surely nudged this fucking meteor from fucking striking the earth. You know, Pacific Ocean's not going to die all the way. I don't believe. Boy, she's under attack. And boy, she's been fucking raped. I like Donna down there in fucking Santa Cruz. She says, I says, they're fucking gang raping the fucking Mighty Blue Lady. She says, well, you know how they think. Her skirt was sure short. She was asking for it. I'm like, no shit. Wow. What a fucking journey. I'll keep going. I'm going to go every day till I fucking die. You know, whether it be this YouTube camera, whatever. Whatever. The blob. Now they're saying the fucking blob's gone. The blob's here. El Nino. It's all bullshit. It's all fucking bullshit. You know fucking how much of the fucking Pacific Ocean creatures already got fucking mass murdered in the last... I saw it. 
When I play volleyball on dead birds of Pismo, you can just smell it. I mean, I watched the starving to death fucking sea lions, saw the dead whales fucking with my. I've been on every pier, walked the whole fucking thing, most of it in critical condition. That San Opry fucking hearing shut down so many times, all up and down, at Diablo so many fucking times. You know, the places, watch the dead dying animals, watch the fucking horrible fucking cover up. In Oregon, watch the fucking apathy, watch the fucking phonies, watch the liars, it's all their money. Torres McConnell, they'll be walking over the dead fucking bodies going to Disneyland. It's already happened. You know how many longevity in this country was fucking rising until 2012? There's a. Do you realize what a major post Fukushima cancer epidemic exists? You know, people always go off at me. I like the one part of it when I've been reporting that there's fucking literally many, many thousands of workers in Fukushima that have been killed. And I'm fucking. You know, I like how people now are saying it's four fucking meltdowns, whatever. You know, been verified. I said that the first day. I've been saying that the whole time. That it was fucking multiple fucking meltdowns and the whole thing, the whole fucking time. Go back. That's the beautiful of this genre. Video for the only one. The only one. It's fucking the first day. First day. Standing right here. I was in the Energy Solutions fucking thing protesting. Watch the propaganda machines go to fucking work. Not just in Japan. They're gonna go to work here. They're gonna kill you. It's gonna give you leukemia. It's gonna give you leukemia. It's gonna genocide the Pacific Ocean. Fuck within hours if it happened. Fuck, it's four major fucking meltdowns. Fucking people want to argue me. I mean, the fucking. But you can't handle the truth. You don't want the truth. It's a fucking masquerade fucking show. Slavery's good, right? Out of sight, out of mind. And you're moral, right? Jesus had blonde hair and blue eyes, right? Jesus built malls, my. Jesus had fucking slaves at gunpoint pulling his fucking shrimp for him and fucking eating the buffet in fucking Las Vegas. Jesus had slave fucking children slaves in this fucking concrete bunker so that they put out nets on judge up for fucking they can have their fucking iPhone Apple fucking products, right? Jesus fucking did all that, right? That's what America is. America, they all claim they're fucking Christians. And they claim, I'm going to be Christ-like. Well, he must have because that's what you do when you say you're Christ-like. Johnny got his fucking gun. Fucking pathetic cowards. Never in the history of fucking mankind has a contemporary's herd of fucking sheep and been so contemporized to be in a masquerade fucking they all know. That's why the pill popping epidemic. They all know it's a fucking lie. They're all fucking liars. Academia and these people that put it out in the fucking media, but you all record yourself in fucking history. You know, fuck all you fuckers that covered this up. Fuck all you fucking phony academia rats. Fuck all you marine biologists that stood down. How do any of you motherfuckers sleep at night? How do any of you fuckers sleep at night? You fucking know, and I saw what you fucking did, and I know who you fucking are, and so are your kids gonna know, and so are your kids' kids' kids gonna fucking know. And fucking, may you fucking rot in the fucking lowest fucking form of hell is all I got to say. Stay in tune it. We fight on.